a man and his wife go to their honeymoon place for their 25th anniversary. As the couple reflected on that magical evening 25 years ago, the wife asked the husband, when you first saw my name body in front of you, what was going through your mind? The husband replied, all I wanted to do was to f*** your brains out and suck your tits dry. Then, as the wife undressed, she asked, What are you thinking now? He replied, It looks like I did a pretty good job. <laughs> a woman is picked up by a famous sportsman in a bar. They like each other and she goes back with him to his hotel. He removes his shirt, revealing all his tattoos. And she sees that on his arm is one that reads Reebok. She thinks that's a bit odd and asks him about it. He says, when I play live on TV, the cameras pick up the tattoo and Reebok pays me for advertisement. A bit later, as he takes his pants off, she sees Puma tattooed on his leg. He gives the same explanation for the unusual tattoo. Finally, the underwear comes off and she sees the word AIDS tattooed on his she jumps back with shock. I'm not going to do it with a guy who has AIDS. He says it's cool, baby. In a minute, it's going to say Adidas. <laughs> Two men were having lunch at their favorite restaurant when they noticed a young woman at the next table having trouble breathing. One of the men got up, walked over to her table, took her face in his hands and said, can you swallow? She shook her head, no. Can you breathe? Again, she shakes her head, no. The man grabs her around the waist with one of his hands, turns her over, pulls up her skirt, pulls down her p***s and licks her ass. Of course the young woman was so shocked that she coughed, causing the food to dislodge. The man pulls up her p***s, pulls down her skirt, turns her right side and returns to his seat. His companion is sitting there stunned. I have never seen anything like that in my whole life. He says to his friend, Well, I tell you, that hand lick maneuver works every time. <laughs> couple were invited to a swanky masked Halloween party. The wife came down with a terrible headache and told her husband to go to the party and have a good time. Being the devoted husband, he protested, but she argued and said she was going to take some aspirin and go to bed. She told him there was no need for him to miss the fun, so he took his costume and away he went. The wife, after sleeping soundly for one hour, awakened without pain. And as it was still early, she decided to go to the party. Because the husband did not know what her costume was, she thought she would have some kicks watching her husband to see how he acted when she was not around. She joined the party and soon spotted her husband walking around on the dance floor. He was dancing with every chick he could. His wife sidled up to him and being a rather seductive babe herself, he left his partner high and dry and devoted his time to the new action. She let him go as far as he wished, naturally, since he was her husband. Finally, he whispered a little proposition in her ear and she agreed. So off they went to one of the cars and had a little bang. Just before unmasking at midnight, she slipped out went home, put the custom away and got into bed, wondering what kind of explanation he would have for his behavior. She was sitting up reading when he came in, and she asked him what he had done. He said, oh, the same old thing. You know, I never have a good time when you're not there. Then she asked, did you dance much? He replied, I'll tell you, I never even danced one dance. When I got to the party, I met Pete. Bill and some other guys. So we went into the den and played poker all evening. But I'll tell you, the guy I loaned my costume to sure had one hell of a time. A husband and wife are cooing over their newborn baby. Look at the size of his pants, says the man. It's massive. Yes, dear, says the woman. But at least he's got your ears. <laughs> Man lies on his deathbed surrounded by his family, a weeping wife and five children. 
Four of the children are tall, good-looking and athletic. But the fifth and the youngest is an ugly runt. Darling wife, the husband whispers, assure me that the youngest child really is mine. I want to know the truth before I die. I will forgive you if... The wife gently interrupts him. Yes, my dear, absolutely no question. I swear on my mother's grave that you are his father. The man dies happy. The wife mutters under her breath, thank God he didn't ask me about the other four. small tourist hotel was all abuzz with an afternoon wedding in which the groom was 95 and the bride was only 23. The groom looked pretty feeble and the feeling was that the wedding night might kill him because his bride was a healthy, vivacuous young woman. But the next morning the bride came down the main staircase, slowly step by step, hanging onto the banister for dear life. She finally managed to get to the counter of the little shop in the hotel. The clerk looked really concerned. Whatever happened to you, my dear? You, you, you look like you've been wrestling an alligator. The bride groaned, hung onto the counter and managed to speak. Oh, God. He told me he'd been saving up for 75 years. And I thought he meant his money. <laughs> and goes to the doctor complaining of elbow pain. The doctor tells him he needs a urine sample to test. The man complies and the doctor takes the cup to a very strange machine and pours it in. After a few seconds, the machine prints out a sheet of paper. The doctor tells the man, well, it looks like you have tennis elbow. The man argues, saying that there is no way. The doctor informs him that his new machine is 99% accurate. So the man, determined to fool the machine, goes home and has his daughter pee in a cup. Then he puts oil from his car in it and acts off in it. He takes it to the doctor and tells him he's not feeling well and gives him the cup. The doctor puts it in the machine and a few seconds later the paper prints out. Well, what does it say? Asks the man. The doctor just looks at him and replies, Well, your daughter is pregnant, your car needs an oil change, and if you don't stop jerking off, you'll never get rid of that tennis elbow. 